Hi guys, today in this video we are going to balance this equation. So this is the equation in which we have SO3 plus H2O on the reactant side and H2SO4 on the product side. To check if this equation is balanced or not, we are going to consider the number of atoms on the both the sides. So on the reactant side we have one sulfur. For oxygen we have three here and one here so total we have four oxygen atoms make sure to count each and every atom because that is what makes a difference and for hydrogen we have two atoms of hydrogen over here because uh, it is h2o here all right so we have all the atoms and the number of atoms for the reactant side now let's proceed to the product side on product side we have one sulfur atom as you can see oxygen atoms we have a four and hydrogen atoms we have two so this equation is balanced because uh, the number of atoms on both the sides are the same and they are balanced so this equation itself is balanced but what people generally uh, mess up during balancing equations is not counting the numbers of oxygen and hydrogens properly uh, as you can see here in reactant side oxygen is present in both these uh, compounds make sure to count the number of oxygen atoms and hydrogen atoms uh, on both the sides to not uh, miss out on any atom so this is the balanced equation for so3 and h2o and i hope this video helps you to understand it better for more videos on molecular geometry polarity hybridization of the molecules make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching